starting on the way which the Danube sweeps through Dolge County. The first landmark we come across on the Danube riverside, coming from Mehedinsk County, is the commune of Cetate. Some two kilometers away from its center, we find the cultural port, a special place arranged on the ruins of a building that was initially an agricultural port and later a border guard garrison. We are first amazed by the Angels Park, which comprises works of the artists that participated throughout the years to the camps of creation organized here. Since early spring till late autumn, the cultural port of Chitata is a place where poetry, music, films and plastic arts meet. The most important event is the film festival called the Council of Film and Cookery Tasters, which succeeds to perfectly render the Balkan multicultural spirit, where the success of a cultural act is guaranteed by a good wine and delicious foods. The festival program is a perfect collage of film projections, photo exhibitions, concerts, workshops, book releases, and wine and food tasting. Leaving the cultural port of Chetate behind, the road winds along the Danube, near a stretch of beach of about three kilometers long, fitted with umbrellas, deck chairs and mini bars, ready to welcome its visitors in summer. The beach alternates with shady trees of the Danube riverside, which are the favorite places of passionate fishermen. Situated some 30 kilometers away from Cetate and documentary tested ever since the 14th century, Maglavit village got its historic name from the multitude of herds of cattle grazing in the region. The surroundings are a real paradise of those keen on hiking in nature. The pools of Maglavit and Hunya are surrounded by areas of lush and diverse vegetation where deer and hares hide and water birds nest. Nature has created such wonderful places that all those coming here for the first time live unforgettable experiences and return every time with pleasure. Close by, there is a trout farm set up here due to the many springs in the region whose water is similar to mountain water. They create excellent conditions for breeding trout and sturgeons, fish that always need cold and fresh water. The trout farm also offers accommodation and the possibility to fish nearby for all those wishing to spend a weekend in the middle of nature. A few kilometers away from the village, covered by the wood and bordered by the Danube, rises the Holy Monastery. The story of the place of worship is closely connected to Petrarche Lupu, a simple shepherd in the region, who started having visions in which he was talking to God. The religious phenomenon gained momentum, which led to the building of a monastery on the very place where the shepherd was tending his sheep and where he had those revelations. Kalafat town is the most important Danubian settlement in Dolge County, being also called the town of the roses, chestnut and oak trees, due to the shady trees along the streets and to the chromatic abundance of the roses and flowers embellishing the green spaces of the town. Kalafat is one of the main points on the road map of Romania, due to the bridge over the Danube. Inaugurated in 2013, it is the second bridge over the Danube that links Romania to Bulgaria, after the bridge between Giorgio and Ruse. The bridge has four car lanes, a single-line railway, and a track for cyclists. 
The Danube offers Kalafat not only the possibility to develop economically through the transit of goods, but also to become an important tourist landmark due to the beautiful places near the town. A few kilometers away, nature lovers can enjoy the beauty of landscapes while fishing. In any of the locations, the landscape is magic, nature offering each visitor or fisherman a show of beauty, color and harmony. The crystalline gloss of the water is shrouded from place to place by the raw green of the water plants, while the hidden figures of the fishermen can be spotted here and there, waiting resignedly for a fairy tale catch. The fishing boats are rocked by the waves, ready at any moment to sail away. The widest spread species are the carp rod, perch and pike perch, but sometimes you can also hook pikes, catfish or even starlets. Close to the town, the place between Chupurcheni and Dessa villages stretches over a natural area of a great geographical variety, including pools, isles and channels full of reed and water plants. The region is well known by those who are keen on fishing, as they can catch here carp, pike, brooch, perch, rod and bream. Being the only part of the Danube Valley which was not dammed, hundreds of birds found refuge and nest here, many of them protected by the law, finding plenty of food and place where to grow their young. Those fond of ornithology can meet here egrets, pelicans, black storks, cormorants or flossy ibises. All these species find in the area the ideal habitat where the ponds alternate with meadows and poplar and acacia woods. The proximity to the Danube and the existence of this chain of pools, rich in many species of fish and birds, create an extraordinary eco-tourist potential. The Orthenological Reservation of Chupurcheni Dessa was declared a protected natural area in 2000 for the beauty of its places, the wealth and rarity of bird species it shelters. Going down the river, we reach the region of Bistratz Gidditch. The Danube meadow here excels in the beauty and wilderness of the landscapes, being able at any time to rival with the isles of the delta. The banks are flanked by curtains of trees or reed, which are reflected on the water in a multitude of shades. Here and there, a solitary tree with its roots submerged raises its dry branches out of the water as a last gesture of survival. A fishing game is a delight for the eyes here, a joy for the soul and a pleasure for the taste buds. Starting early in the morning when the mist rises from the pond until later in the afternoon when the sun is up in the sky the fishing boats lightly ripple the surface of the water. The pools are full of many species of fish, while the fishing stories of the place tell about catching some collection specimens. Beyond all the fishing stories, a fishing party almost always ends with a rich catch. Any fisherman becomes a real cooking master on the pond shore, even if he has no modern kitchen, just a brushwood fire, a sharp knife and skilled hands. The cauldron broth or salted fish roasted on charcoal rival the most refined delicacies served in the luxury restaurants.
The surroundings of Lake Bistretz are a real water paradise. The area being declared a Nature 2000 site for its special natural value and wealth of species that live here. Beket town is the second largest Danubian port in Dolch County, after Kalafat. According to the documents of the time, some 4,000 people were working in the port of Beket at the beginning of the 20th century, a sign of the town prosperity. The current development strategy of the town is not just centered round the commercial side, but also on the eco-tourist component, taking into consideration that the Danube is not only just a corridor of transport, but a real gold mine of tourism, waiting to be capitalized. Being a town port, the celebration of the town is every year on August the 15th, the Navy Day. The town dresses up, and folk groups from both banks of the Danube displays the beauty of the traditional costumes in a parade of the popular attire. All day long, a real folk marathon takes place in which each guest gives the measure of his own talent. On the same day, the natives of Beket and the surroundings are invited on a free cruise by ferry on the Danube, close to the Bulgarian bank. Aspiring to become a tourist town, there are already guest houses and villas in Beket, waiting for their visitors. Equipped with swimming pools and relaxation places, and benefiting of a cuisine inspired by traditional dishes, the accommodation places here are an excellent holiday alternative at very accessible prices. The commune of Kalurashi is one of the largest in Dolch County, being situated very close to Beket. The locality is passing through an ongoing urban development. In just a few years, the centre of the settlement has got a new look, and it is now a modern area, where the new buildings harmoniously blend with the green spaces that have been remodelled and beautified. Belonging to the Danube Meadow, the surroundings of Kalrosh put forward a wild natural landscape with a diverse vegetation where the ponds appear near curtains of woods and reed, forming channels and isles of a rare beauty. The natives know the way to all these jewels of nature, and a visitor stopping for the first time in the area is astonished at the show of lights and shadows of the vegetation reflected on the water. For fishermen, these places where the silence is disturbed only by the shriek of water birds and the rippling of the oars are a real slice of paradise. The daily cares are totally forgotten, and the only concern remains to find a good place for fishing and to prepare the nets and angles. The fish dishes cooked on the riverbank, the fishing broth in the cauldron, the fish in skewers or fried on a metal plate, all near a golden hominy, are the best remedies for relaxation and good humor. Our journey through the Danube Meadow ends here, with the joy of having presented a region of a special beauty, which offers generously to every traveller the image of a dreamscape, 
a grand show of nature modeled by the Danube. This river that unites destinies, peoples and civilizations across Europe. The content of this material does not necessarily represent the official position of the European Union.